welcome. I'm going to share with you my skincare routine and how I keep it as minimal as possible as well as being low waste or zero waste. Now I've been really lucky growing up because I never had any skin problems as a teenager and I was also in a tropical climate so I never had to experience the harsh winters but when I moved to London and now I'm living in upstate New York it's been a very different story and I've had to put in a lot more time to take care of that part of myself. Now that is also one of my goals for 2018 is to practice a little bit of self-care and one of the ways I'm hoping to do that is to really take pride and enjoy the time that I put into yeah taking care of my face so I'm just going to share with you the products I have and use and the ones that I've created and yeah I don't know let me know if you also want to see like my body skincare routine or like all the products that I have and have created because I can do like a whole video where I share everything um, but for now we're just going to do skincare so I first and most importantly have this little cloth now I got this about three years ago it is a linen cloth it is from herb pharmacy I picked it up in London and it's 100% organic cotton and um, this is really great for exfoliating my face so I usually wash my face with just water except for if I really feel like it needs a bit more of a cleaning um, I and or like if it feels a little bit too oily then I use my Dr. Bronner's Castile soap now this is the same soap that I use to wash my whole body as well as wash my hair and then I just have it in this little lush tin but I just find that it just helps if there's like dirt on my face because I've been out gardening or something like that and then if for example, I wear mascara or a little bit of eyeshadow, which I maybe do once a month. Um, I will then just use a coconut oil as a cleanser to take that off my face. Um, and I just have this anyway for other beauty products that I create. Um, so that is the main way that I wash my face and clean my face and then using this to exfoliate my face is really nice as well. And recently my friend gave me this Dr. Hauschka's cleansing cream. Um, she was tried it out but it actually inflamed her skin so she gave it to me. So I've also been using this here and there um, just for a little extra I know tender love and care um, but I will use that up but I won't um, I would never I don't think I would replace it or buy it because the way that I have it set up now works really well for me um, then the next part of my skincare routine of course is to like tone my face um, now I have never toned my face I've never done that ever ever before and I don't think if I was to go traveling for example I wouldn't bring it with me I don't think it's a necessity but I have been experimenting around with um, a homemade toner now this is an upcycled um, what is it? I had a vitamin C spray in this before and it's an upcycle bottle but I put a little bit of apple cider vinegar the rest is water and then I put a few whoops um, and then I put a few drops of the tea tree essential essential oil because it's antibacterial it's really good for if you have quite a few spots so that is the toner I've been working with now yeah this is just not essential and I probably wouldn't take it if I'm traveling but it is kind of nice just to make I don't know my skincare routine feel a little bit more fancy um but yeah as I don't wear makeup and things like that and my skin is pretty healthy I don't feel like it's 100% necessary and then to go along with my toner I have these reusable cotton um pads I think they're actually for women breastfeeding I got them off Amazon and um yeah they were 100% um cotton so I just picked them up because I thought they were good and I also like that they're a much bigger size than your average cotton round but I can link them in the description if you're interested in them so I use that for my toner instead of spraying it straight in my face I spray it onto the cloth first and then wipe it around nicely um yeah and then last but not least is the moisturizer now i was for a long time using one from this company the dr hauschka company and i was trying to use it up my mom gave it to me but yeah i finally used it up and i was like okay now i can make my other one and i'm so glad that i did because i just love this moisturizer so i put maybe this much jojoba oil and then the rest of it is rose hip oil and then I put a few drops of rose ut essential oil because I really like using the rose hip oil and then also smelling like rose when I moisturize my face and I was using the Dr. Hauschka moisturizer before which was quite expensive and it's a pretty reputable company but for some reason when I 
I like finished moisturizing my face it would always feel a little bit funny um, and it would sometimes dry out because I think there was alcohol in the moisturizer itself and this is just so beautiful I put it on my face feels like silky smooth and it's really it's really lovely and it's also like this really beautiful yellow color um, I don't know if you can see that on camera but it is really yeah it's a really nice nice oil and I'm really happy with it and when this one runs out I will share with you how I made it but basically I just I never have measurements but rosehip oil is most of it and then a little bit of Jehovah oil and then whatever essential oil that you would like to smell like so that is my skincare for my face if yeah like I said before if you're interested in knowing more about the beauty products I use um, being more minimal and zero waste give this video a thumbs up or leave me a comment in the comments and please let me know of any products you use um, if you create any of your own what are sort of the recipes and things that you like to work with because it's always interesting to change it up I don't like to necessarily stick to the same thing for like three years or whatever it is I like to sort of mix it around and sort of work with it every now and again so anyway thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time bye